What's up, guys? Welcome back to RacingNews.com, and welcome back to Keeneland. That's right, the action gets going again this weekend at Keeneland. Uh, got a really good uh, Friday and Saturday card, and, and Sunday as well. Not out yet as the time I'm recording this one, but I'm sure it will be pretty good. Last weekend, we did all right at Keeneland. We got some right and uh, got some prices home, so that was good. We'll see if we can do it uh, this weekend as well. All right, Friday, October 14th is where we're going, and like I said, going to Keeneland. For the Sycamore Stakes, grade three event, going a mile and a half on the turf, $300,000 purse. We got a field of 12 plus four also eligible. So uh, as Keeneland has done all meet, they are loading up these races with huge fields. All right, let's go to the action. Let's go who the top pick is going to be. It is going to be number seven, Mira Mission on top for me. Can't get that race last time out of my, out of my head going a mile and a half in the grade one sword dancer at Saratoga. Oh, he had the lead. And if you had this horse pegged at 18 to 1, a heartbreaking loss as Gufo swoops up late, passes this horse in the late stages. Mira Mission still holds on to finish second. Like I said, if you had her or had him, I should say that day, oh, you're kind of sick over that 18 to 1 price. You're certainly not going to get that here. But same conditions, mile and a half. I look at this field, I don't see a Gufo type. Uh, I, I think this is a little bit easier of a race. For Mira Mission, I think he's going to get the job done today. Wish we could get that big price, but I still think he's the best horse in the race. So I will back number seven, Mira Mission, on top here, and we'll see what happens. If he runs back to that last effort, I think we see a victory. Now, as far as second place horse, I'm going to get a little crazy right here with this one. I like the number five, a credit, morning line 30 to one. I kind of like this horse to finish uh, you know, on the board here at a big, big number. Uh, came back off of a long layoff on September 1st at Kentucky Downs, was third against Allowance Horses, came back and ran again at Kentucky Downs uh, just two weeks later, was third again in a handicap. So um, not great efforts, but I think this horse is better stretching out in distance. Matter of fact, three races back, which was a long time ago in September of 2021 at Kentucky Downs, won a mile and 5 16th stakes race, at 36 to 1 and went gate to wire. I look at this field here. I think the horse could get the lead. I think stretching back out to a mile and a half, a half is really going to help. Like I said, been running at a mile at Kentucky Downs. I think the stretch out really going to help. I don't see a whole lot of other speed horses in here. I think the five of credit goes to the front. I think he can take this field a long way. Can he hold on and win the whole thing? I mean, that's it's questionable. I think he's got a shot, though. So at 30 to 1, I'm going to take a little bit of a swing with the number five, a credit. I think this horse might be able to do it, might be able to get the job done. And then third, I put Arclo, the one horse, uh, going to try to, you know, kind of bounce back from a uh, tough effort at Kentucky Downs. He just didn't quite look his himself. But two races back in the Bowling Green, a grade two uh, race at Saratoga, going a mile and three eighths, only got beat a half length. So I think is in a good spot here. He likes the distance, so I'll use Arclo in that third spot. So uh, to recap, number seven, Mira Mission, going to be on top for me, hoping to repeat that effort that he put up last time out in the Sword Dancer. Number five, a credit in second, going to take a swing here, hoping the stretch out in distance is going to help a credit. Uh, we, we'll see his best uh, race on Sat uh, Friday, I should say, and then the number one Arclo in third. So seven, five, and one, the top three for me in this one. Going to be a really good uh, race, good betting race, as you can see. I like a 30 to one shot in second. So, all right, guys, that is your preview for the Sycamore at Keeneland on Friday. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Make sure to hit that like button if you like it. Hit subscribe if you really like us and you want to get alerted anytime we do any kind of videos like this, uh, podcasts, anything, uh, you'll get alerted anytime we go live, all that stuff. So make sure to do that if you're enjoying these videos. All right, guys, thanks very much, and good luck if you're playing Keeneland on Friday. RacingDudes.com is your home for the best betting tips and coverage for the 2022 Breeders' Cup. Our wagering guides have cashed for thousands. You cannot miss our 2022 Inside Track Wagering Guide to the Breeders' Cup. So hurry up and subscribe, then go to RacingDudes.com, check out the free picks for every race, every track across the country, and the Inside Track to the Breeders' Cup Wagering Guide, available soon.